Hi folks, back again. It's Monday. We uh, got the car offloaded last night and uh, today we just kind of slept in and went about our business. And after lunch we uh, sat and chatted for a while and kind of discussed uh, options or uh, things that must be done to the car before uh, we go to another race. Uh, more specifically, the uh, brakes need to be done. Um, after that, we uh, went and unloaded uh, Pillager Chris's, the uh, car owner, team captain. Unloaded his stuff from the uh, back of the box truck. And now we're headed to destination two of two, which is uh, home in Cincinnati. It's where the uh, truck and trailer belongs. That's also where quite a bit of our stuff belongs. Uh, we just got word from uh, our team captain, Pillager Chris, that uh, Jeff Speedy Cop is uh, interested or is going to buy our former Lemons vehicle, which was a 1998. Uh, Ford Crown Vic. It's a police interceptor that um, before we start theming it and racing it, uh, you can see in the paint where all the vinyls were on the doors that it actually was a city parks car. So basically it was an unabused cop car and well, after four or five races, it uh, basically got the flogging of a lifetime out of it. We had a few minor problems with it, but nothing serious. I mean, with the exception of the accident we had back in 2009. Um, really, that's basically it. It's the... Uh, so hopefully we get that, get our stuff unloaded, we go over and uh, get some pictures of that and uh, give it a once over and fire it up and you know, basically just give it an inspection because I, I, you know, Speedy Cop's only interested in it if, uh, if it runs and drives and it's in great shape. But uh, that's basically it for now. Um, Maybe I'll give you an update after we have, uh, I guess, dinner, because it's, it's 5.33 right now. I don't know if the clock on my camera is correct. It's been quite some time. But, uh, yeah, that's it for now. Uh, kind of a hellish weekend, but we made it. Now it's just time to go home, relax, go back to our jobs, and regular people again until uh, till next time so catch you later well back again I'm still in the truck uh, just got done eating dinner have me some uh, good old Arby's polish off that crave for some uh, curly fries just got passed by 
big rig just after I got on the highway. It's uh, 7.15 now. Uh, sitting on three quarters tank of gas and uh, got about another 100, 120 miles to go. Be back in a uh, good old Cincy. So, uh, get our stuff unloaded and uh, just get rid of our stuff. Well, put our stuff away and give the uh, truck back to uh, its rental place. But, what can you say? I got a big old headache. Uh, hopefully it goes away. But, that's it for now. Well, last update. It's uh, officially over. Back home. Uh, I've got basically my duffel bag unpacked and that's about it. Um, still got to unload the truck but I got to work tomorrow so Pillager John, my dad, will be uh, taking his time getting that done and I'll be make, picking him up uh, quite tired it's uh, 10 o'clock in the evening it's uh, Monday in case you haven't figured that out it's still Monday but I'm glad I'm out of the truck kinda noisy going down the highway at 65-70 uh, I guess uh, one major thing would be uh, I have to kind of review a little bit of the uh, footage from the last couple of days and I'd have to apologize. Not exactly my best work. Especially at the award ceremony. My uh, arms were tired from racing and then all that fun stuff. Uh... Just a note to myself, next time, use a tripod, especially when you're holding a can of pop and your arm's tired. Go figure. Sitting there staring at the backside of a uh, diamond eye. Congratulations to them uh, from the track pillagers and all the other teams that won awards. Uh, especially to Mark with the Kenner Airplane uh, MR2. Um, according to my brother, he was our team leader. He was uh, he was wanting to try to get you some seat time, and he couldn't find you. And apparently, it didn't sink in that I had told him that. I seen you up in the scoring tower on uh, day two, but um, just a crazy weekend. Quite miserable for all the wind. The weather wasn't, you know, the weather was kind of a fun, interesting aspect of it. But the the wind, the wind alone, just totally killed it. Absolutely killed it. So, uh, anyways, uh, I guess that's it for now. Till uh, next race. If I do this again, don't know. First time trying to do a video log here. I probably never mentioned that in the earlier video, so you have to excuse the crapness of the video work, but what do you expect? Crap can race. Crappy videoing. Eh, who would have figured? But, uh, see everybody next time.